to all immigrants in North America or to those of you that are jack buying. Oh yeah, congregate here. Come on, let's have a conversation. So my name is Coach Wilfred Asuko. I am a capacity builder. I am also the founder of Zit Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform where um, you can explore and discover a lot of your potentials and that will help you make informed decisions. So yes, it's all about capacity building. And I also teach a lot of IT certifications because I work in the tech space. So use the link below this video and then if you need to reach out to us, feel free to reach out to us or join our community by smashing on the red subscribe button and we will be glad to have you here. Like I said, if you are planning to jackpa or you just jackpad and you're still struggling to make a choice on which career to delve into, oh yeah, come, let's have a conversation. So why did you leave your home for a foreign land? I'm sure you had a plan. You had um, some goals in mind, right? Just like every other person. I also took a leap of faith to leave my home country to relocate to this um, God's own land to seek for greener pasture, study, and then, you know, take advantage of a lot of opportunities that I am in, in this God's own land. So I'm sure you also made that stride and took that leap of faith to come over to this country, either to Canada or to Europe or to UK, any part of the world outside your motherland. So as a coach, I have come to discover that a lot of people, they make significant um, mistakes. Some of them, they are stuck because they did not get well um, informed um, awareness to make their informed decisions. Hence, um, years later, they are regretting and then they have a lot of setback. And they sometimes want to blame themselves. Not to worry, you don't have to blame yourself. You will be just fine. So, what could they have done differently? And here is some of those pitfalls for immigrants after you arrived in choosing your career. So first off, who is your host? What is your host doing? It is common that upon arrival, your host will determine a lot of stuff around you. You want to depend on what your host will tell you. You want to depend on um, the kind of information that you need that they will pass on to you. And it is not uncommon for you to listen to your host because sometimes that was the best place and the only place you had to settle in. I quite understand. It can be a little bit challenging, but yeah, you don't have a choice but to be diplomatic in listening to what your host is telling you. If you are fortunate, your host is a nurse or a medical doctor or a pharmacist and is able to guide you and coach you to become a nurse or a doctor or a pharmacist, of course, you'll be balling. But if you fall in and your host is working in the factory or is a is doing um, a minimum wage job, possibly working in a grocery store or working in um, some of the retail stores or doing the direct care support, of course, that's where you're going to find yourself. Who are you going to blame? And from there, you begin to want to build your career around those. From there, you want to be making all the money and then investing in all the businesses and opportunities that you never had opportunity to invest back home with that little income that you are making. So that's one of your first pitfalls that when you come or you japa, your host, yes, has a lot of influence on you. But if you know what you want, if what your host is telling you is not aligning with what you know or what you want to do, please, can you use Google? Can you seek for information from other people on the internet? Can you ask questions? Can you network people outside your host so that you don't fall into that same pitfall? And guess what? Sometimes your host might be jealous. 
because she he or she was not able to accomplish that which you desire to accomplish so how do you think he or she will feel watching you under his or her roof gunning for such career that you are desiring to pursue all right now how about those of you who have gotten into um a particular career perhaps as a single person and now as you begin to grow in your career you discover that the career is not allowing you time to manage your family dynamics your children and then also give attention to that career to better grow and make something useful out of it gone are the days when we came to the us everyone pointed us to nursing everyone pointed us to healthcare. don't get me wrong nursing is very good we need them because when we fall sick or our wives or our family members are pregnant and they go to the hospital they need attention of course we need the nurses but for me i say when you want to get into nursing it should be out of passion out of passion not because you are being coerced or you are being forced into nursing that's something i want you to think about i've lost count of how many nurses that have come to me because they have babies now they want to have time for their babies by working from home and still stay in the clinical space of course it is very possible so another pitfall is the fact that we fail to be adaptable when we get into a certain space we don't think we can adapt to another space when we get into a certain space we don't think we can explore another face or another space so we can accommodate other dynamics of our life our families our daily hustle no you can adapt so you don't get stuck in that space just because that's what you know there is room for adjustment there is room for adaptability there is room for growth so here the tech space is very flexible it accommodates everyone from every sphere of life and your skills are transferable you get that right your skills are transferable so don't lose faith Next, some of us came with degree from our home country. Who told you your degree is not valid in this country? Gone are the days when people will tell you that. I have several clients who never even went to college, but they are in the tech space making a lot of money. So that's another pitfall that you will get into. Listening to psycho fans, listening to people, listening to hearsay of things they know nothing about. Your degree from your home country is very valid. And just in case you don't know how to go about it, please use the link below this video and reach out to us. I will definitely guide you. Of course, you know you have to pay for our time. And that's what a lot of people don't want to do. They don't want to pay for your time, but they just want to come sip from your well of experience and then walk away. No, we do have to charge for our time and our well of experience and resources so your degree is very valid when you bring them here so that can allow you to get into a lot of space or any space that you desire to get yourself into at most you can pick up one or two certifications and then your degree will always you know, complement your certifications or your um set of um goals that you've set for yourself in your career they will complement and then you will build up and then you scale very possible and that is done day in day out okay so explore this and i'm sure you are going to be very happy now the last but not the least we come from a country that is deeply religious and when you move into this developed country and you bring that mindset of religiosity unfortunately religiosity doesn't pay bills so the time you spend to chase religion and religion religious activities i am telling you it is not going to replace the time you're supposed to work to make your earnings or increase your capacity so you can live a quality life that you left your country for 
So while you are chasing or getting involved in those religious activities, do understand that they're not going to pay your bills. Your bills are still going to be waiting for you. So I encourage you to please balance your religious activities and the things you find yourself doing. So before you hop into that plane and begin to head out to any of these foreign Western countries, please do understand that what we do back home in Africa is completely different from what you are going to find here. It is another pitfall that when you fall inside, it will cost you a fortune to get up and fix yourself and move forward again. So you don't want to find yourself in such circumstances. You want to stay focused. You want to make right choices. You want to do the right thing at all times so that you will be happy you left your country for a quality and a better living. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.